Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by as always. I'm so happy to have you guys here. So happy to be doing this for you guys. This is going to be a collective message. It is a timeless reading and it is for all signs. So all zodiac signs. So um, divine feminine, divine masculine. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your likes, your shares and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys and I'm sending you love, light, gratitude. You guys, this is your intuitively awakened star seed here with a message. Y'all, I'm picking up on some energy here, right? Somebody's disappointed. Yeah. Divine feminine, divine masculine. I'm picking up on some disappointment. I'm picking up on somebody plotting some type of um, illusions or deception I'm picking up on. Uh-huh. I'm also picking up on karmic energy, third-party energy. Ciao. We're going to go ahead and hop into this reading. You guys, please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, or your future. He, she, him, her. People, places, things. Let's go ahead and tap in here and see what is going on. The who, what, when, where, and why. Because I'm picking up... Somebody is like deluded, right? Somebody, I'm picking up on some delusion, some foolishness going on here, right? Spirit, please give us a message for the collective. What is it that the collective needs to know? I'm seeing luxury, right? So something to do with material things, right? Somebody makes a really good appearance, I'm getting. But I'm also picking up on... There's something to do with precious metals and gems, crystals, dazzling gems, precious metals, uh-huh, luxury. Now, this could be, this could be someone, mm, this could be a commitment. Uh-huh, somebody's cooking up something. I'm seeing kitchen. Somebody is planning, right? So there's... Somebody's trying to put a plan together is what I'm getting, right? Yeah, a lot of emotions. I'm seeing water here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What else we got here, Spirit? Please give us more for the collective. Yeah. Oh. Thinking and missing you, right? So, okay, so there's a separation here. There's a no contact situation here, a separation. Someone is missing you, thinking about you a lot, okay? I'm picking up on that. Somebody that finds you very beautiful, very attractive. So I'm seeing here, they're missing you. We're seeing luxury boutique, precious metals, precious gems and crystals, right? Somebody's working on something behind the scenes. Yeah, but I'm still picking up like on this foolish energy, right? But this person... Divine feminine, divine masculine. Somebody finds you very attractive. Yeah. Kind hearted, right? Mm. Very deep emotions I'm seeing here. What else we got, spirit? Okay, somebody is very hard working or working very hard to come towards you, but they're conflicted. Somebody is conflicted, right? Somebody was hot and cold off and on. This is what puts you in no contact. The separation. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like somebody is sad that you guys are separated. And they're stressed, right? But I'm picking up on heartbroken, right? So somebody is heartbroken because you guys are not talking or not in contact. Yeah, but there's some illusion. Something's going on here because I'm definitely picking up on that karmic energy spirit. Please give us more for the collective. Okay, so somebody is definitely trying to get, I'm getting refueled, right? So it's like this person is trying to um, get themselves together. Somebody's working on themselves, taking a break and working on themselves I feel like trying to be the best version of themselves for you. We have a past life connection. Uh-huh. I feel like this is you, Divine Feminine. You share a past life connection with this person, this Divine Masculine that you're separated from. Yep. Because here it is, Infinite Universe, the sky. This is a past life connection that you share with this person. 
but I'm seeing something to do with escaping, right? So avoiding, blocking, pushing away, there's something to do with the separation here between you guys. Ah, pride is in the way. Ego was in the way. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's somebody that's definitely, somebody was hoping that you guys would separate is the energy that I'm getting. Spirit, please give us more. Mm-hmm. This could have been someone that was playing in the energy when you guys were together that caused this divine masculine to be conflicted. I just said divine masculine and there's divine masculine. Mm-hmm. Enchantment. Esoteric. Magic. Intrigue. Hidden wisdom. Mystic haven. Y'all. This is a deep connection, right? Oh, I'm seeing something starting over, right? So something coming to an end. You could be receiving flowers. I'm seeing this here. This person is coming towards you, divine feminine. This divine masculine, somebody plotted to, somebody was plotting on this divine masculine or plotting to, Take your place is what I'm getting, right? And I feel like it backfired. It came to an end. Yeah. This is somebody that's obsessed with divine masculine. See, I was picking up on stalking energy mm -hmm, because divine masculine rejected them. There it is right there. Abandonment, dismissed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was like this person had a false sense of hope because you and Divine Masculine were separated. They thought that they could take your place is what I'm getting, Divine Feminine. This is a copycat energy. That ship has sailed. Divine Masculine's not interested in this person, but this is a copycat energy, right? Divine Masculine wants a new beginning with you, right? So you guys are separated. You guys are in no contact, right? But this third party also wants a beginning or wanted a new beginning. They thought there was going to be a new beginning because you and Divine Masculine were separated. It was a false sense of hope. They were deluded. They gave themselves this false sense of hope, right? The Divine Masculine was going to be with them. Oh. Somebody's cooking up some schemes. They're in the laboratory. I'm seeing here. Yeah, some false narratives, some lies. Mm-hmm. Wow. What else we got here? I'm picking up on some manipulative energy, right? This, this third party is definitely pissed. They're definitely upset because they thought that they could take your place. They thought that this was their chance. When you and Divine Masculine separated, they thought that this was their chance, right? That they were going to take your place with Divine Masculine. And the plot backfired. It all backfired. Mm-hmm. They want a commitment with you. Divine Masculine wants a commitment with you. They caused a bunch of confusion. This is a deluded third party, right? I'm seeing confusion here. Uncertain, unclear, unsure. But I'm also seeing that they caused this confusion, chaos, and conflict between you and Divine Masculine. They This third party caused this tower moment. I'm seeing silver screen cinema. This is like somebody that puts on an act. Yeah, but behind the scenes, this, this karmic behind the scenes, like they play victim or something like that is what I'm getting, but it's all an act. This is a very manipulative third party is what I'm getting. Wow. They're winds of change. I'm seeing wind, wind swept, wind swept region, right? So I'm seeing winds of change, right? Mm-hmm. Child, look, divine masculine returning to you. It all backfired. Yeah. This is some. This third party. This divine masculine wants a second chance with you, by the way. Divine feminine, I am seeing that. But this third party is very delusional. I'm picking up on unhinged. Some type of issues going on here. Look, second chance again. I'm seeing the phoenix rising. There's a lot of deep emotions 
for you from this divine masculine flowing waters, riverbank views, right? A second chance. This divine masculine wants to make amends with you. Yeah. So it all backfired because they thought that once you guys separated, that they could come in and just take your place, right? <sighs> They've been stalking this divine masculine. I'm getting like just message after message, like because they feel as though this divine masculine had fallen from your grace. And so now they tried to move in. Now they feel hopeless because what they found out is that this divine masculine is concerned about making things right with you. Yeah, this divine masculine has no interest in this third party whatsoever. Their plot backfired because all of the problems that they caused, this divine masculine still not interested in them, even with you outside of the picture, child. Mm-hmm. This divine masculine is broken. Broken up over the separation, shattered, heartbroken, destroyed. Look at this. Yeah. I feel like, look, they're working on them. Best, they're becoming their best self. They want to put their best foot forward with you. I am hearing some karma though, right? Because again, this divine masculine, let this energy come in between you guys as well. So this divine masculine is shattered and broken, but... It's like, you know, they allowed this to happen, but this divine masculine is definitely taking accountability. They're seeing things from a higher perspective, from their higher self. Yeah, seeing this type of connection is very rare that you guys share and that they fumbled it. But I feel like this separation, they're feeling like this is karma. Yep. Mmm. Look. Something going on with this third party, right? But I'm seeing damp, rainy, dark energy. Very dark energy is what I'm picking up on, right? Hmm. This divine masculine, I told you, accountability. They've made mistakes. They realize that they made mistakes, right? They want, I'm getting, they want to meet with you. This divine masculine wants to meet with you. They want to talk with you. They want to express how they truly feel and let you know, boom, only you, only you. This is all about you and only you. Yeah. Ciao. This divine masculine is really at a crossroads because you're in your queen of swords energy. They want to come back towards you. This divine masculine will always love you, divine feminine. You, yeah, I'm getting that. I'm seeing here somebody is on their way up. Like, um, I'm getting leveling up, right? A glow up. Wow, yeah, there's a glow up, divine feminine. You glowing up? Mm. What else we got here? This divine masculine feels like you're moving on without them. Look, this is my masculine. I'm seeing being secluded here. Yeah. This divine masculine I'm picking up has been in hermit mode doing the work, the inner work, right? Tapping into their higher self, a higher perspective. Yeah. Because they miss your loving, nurturing energy. They miss their divine feminine. And this karmic third party, they're sick about this because they did all of this manipulation to come in between you guys' connection. And here, this divine masculine is in solitude, worried about getting back to you. It all backfired, right? Mm, I'm seeing a journey. This divine masculine getting on a journey, coming back towards you. Yeah. Mm, I'm picking up on some controlling... Definitely some controlling, toxic, codependent energy. Some drama I'm picking up. This is this karmic third party energy that I'm picking up on, right? This divine masculine is in love with you. I'm picking up on a lot of intuition. You could definitely be picking up on this divine masculine in your dreams. 
I feel like there could be some telepathic or telepathy going on here, some telepathic communication, because this divine masculine has definitely gotten a deep an inner knowing of this connection that you guys share. Yeah. You guys are kept from the same blueprint, right? Mm-hmm. Look at this. Spying. Spying energy. Guess what? Divine masculine is spying on you, divine feminine, and also this karmic. Yeah. They're both watching you. Because I feel like, literally, I'm picking up on the energy with this karmic third party that they're like, where did I go wrong? Let me go and study Divine Feminine, right? And see what I need to tweak to be just like Divine Feminine, right? It's like, this is a copycat energy if I have ever picked up on it. Divine Feminine. Yeah. They can copy you. They can emulate you as much as they want, but they're never going to possess that Divine Feminine energy, right? Right? Yeah, your light. They'll never possess your light. You're a chosen one, a light worker, a star seed, right? Child, you, you've come to bring love and happiness, not drama, codependent, toxic betrayal. You're not the same. You're not the same as this person, this third party. But they feel like if they dress up like you, do their hair like you, do their makeup like you, try and act like you, try to talk like you, whatever, that they can, that they can take your place with this divine masculine. Divine masculine sees straight through them. Mm-hmm. Yep. What else we got, spirit? Uh-huh. And divine masculine, it doesn't matter because this divine masculine they're only concerned with you. That's what's got this third party losing it. Because it's like in their head, this unhinged energy, it's like in their head, they're like, okay, so now that they're separated, it's just me and Divine Masculine. No, it's not. You and Divine Masculine, this karmic, this third party and Divine Masculine are nowhere near on the same page, right? Divine Masculine may have fallen from your grace. Yeah, yeah. In the past, but you're still their earth angel. This is my masculine still in love with you and holding on to faith for this connection. They don't want you to doubt them or doubt their love. They want to prove their love to you. Yeah, this divine masculine wants to fix this. They want to reconcile. They're not thinking about this third party. This like wearing a costume of you, chow, trying to shape shift out here. Witness shape-shifting energy is going on here with this diabolical, manipulative karmic spirit. Can you give us more? Mm. This divine masculine will always love you, divine feminine. What else we got? Yeah, it's all being revealed. Yeah, this divine masculine has been enlightened is what I'm getting. They tried to trap Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine, look, I'm seeing confessions. This Divine Masculine then confessed that they love you to this third party, to this karmic. This Divine Masculine told them. Unveiling, coming clean. This Divine Masculine came with it, told them, look, I love Divine Feminine. I don't love you. Why are you acting like this? What What is this, right? Look, they tried to trap Divine Masculine. Hoping to take your place. This person is like mirroring you, like twinning. I'm picking up on that twinning energy, right? Like mirroring you, trying to act just like you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this Divine Masculine is manifesting you, Divine Feminine, you. Hmm. They're craving you. They're still attached to you. They have not detached from you, Divine Feminine. This Divine Masculine is devoted, uh-huh, to you. They're hoping there's still a possibility right? Mm-hmm. 
and they're willing to take the risk because they know, look, they know that you may not be receptive to them. Your heart may be closed to them, but I'm getting, this divine masculine is going to try. And it's like, literally, you have this person that's doing everything, this pick me energy over here with this third party, this karmic, like, look at me, pick me, like, look at me, I'm over here, right? Trying to come into union with this divine masculine. Meanwhile, you and divine masculine, divine feminine and divine masculine union has been predestined. This is from the spiritual realm. This is from the astral realm, right? Yeah. This is this is all predetermined, predestined, right? You are each other's destiny, right? Mm-hmm. But they keep hoping that divine masculine would change their perspective, right? And see them differently, see them in a different light, see that they can take your place. Divine masculine can't even see them like that because you're divine masculine's counterpart. This is deeper than this physical realm, which you guys share. Like I said, you guys are kept from the same tapestry. You guys are kept from the same blueprint, the same cosmic blueprint, right? This, There's nothing, this karmic can do everything to be like you and they're still not you. Beauty Salon. This person's getting their hair done like you, makeup done like you. They're still not you. Nope. Uh-uh. Ciao. What else we got for the collective? Please give us more for the collective. Yeah, your person definitely wants to reconcile. They're not thinking about this karmic third party. Their plot backfired. Because I feel like they did come in between you guys. This third party did cause conflict and discord in your union, right? Yeah. And this divine masculine is regretting letting this happen. You know, it's like the universe brought you guys together, right? The universe, I'm picking up on divine timing, divine intervention, right? Divine masculine manifested you a long time ago is what I'm getting. And now they have their wish fulfillment. <laughs> this third party cannot come in between this destined connection. This is a divine connection. You guys have a soul contract, a soul agreement is what I'm getting. Yeah. What else we got, spirit? Mm-hmm. This divine masculine is tired of all of the games and the manipulation is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they're on a journey back towards you. I'm seeing that. Mm -hmm. This divine masculine is definitely on a journey back towards you. I'm getting that you guys have had some problems. And it's like you guys are in no contact. And this may not even be something that is... <sighs> this separation, I feel like... I feel like you guys are coming back into alignment. I feel like you guys are um, definitely coming back into vibration, into, you know, um, a vibrational match, the same frequency, right? <sighs> wow. This is all backfiring on this person. Things are falling into place. The universe is even working behind the scenes is what I'm getting to bring you guys back together. Mm. Let's go ahead and go to the tarot, y'all, and see. Let's take a look at the um, energy. What's ahead? What your divine masculine's current energy is going forward? What is What, what are the intentions going forward? Yeah. Yep. This was a whole plot to keep you guys separated. Spirit, please give us more. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the karmic got the hard truth. This divine masculine told them that they're in love with you, right? Child, spirit, please give us more for the collective. Yeah. Oh, difficult ending, right? Difficult ending. Mm. Spirit, please give us more. Oh. 
We'll take that one. Walking away. Divine Masculine has completely pulled their energy back. They have completely pulled their energy back. They're bringing a love offer back to you. I told you this Divine Masculine was manifesting you. Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Scorpio energy. Changing, right? There's a shift. And this Divine Masculine wants to have it all with you. Everything that this third party, this karmic wanted, this is what this Divine Masculine wants with you. And this, I feel like this karmic third party has literally seen Divine Masculine break down over you. Yeah. Mm. I'm seeing transformation, right? This Divine Masculine manifesting you. You have everything that this Divine Masculine wants and needs. Also, too, I'm seeing rebirth, right? So, yeah, you could be seeing the number 1010, angel numbers 1010, because I'm seeing a completion of a cycle, but I'm also seeing a new beginning. I'm seeing Divine Masculine abandoning this situation, right? Cutting ties. I'm seeing a difficult ending, walking away, but then I'm seeing this love offer, this Knight of Cups. That's coming to you, Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. That is coming to you. This Divine Masculine is taking action to come towards you. Look at, there it is, a second chance, a new beginning. Mm-hmm. Divine Masculine wants a new beginning with you. And I am seeing, like, the Phoenix rising. So I'm picking up on karma. I'm picking up on accountability. But I'm also seeing a second chance. I'm seeing renewal. Very beautiful energy. I'm seeing a reconciliation is what I'm picking up on. Yeah. This divine masculine is definitely in their head about this connection and the future that you guys have together. Yeah, see? Mm-hmm. What else we got, spirit? Mm-hmm. This was a whole hot mess. This, all of this backfired. It backfired on this karmic third party. Here, please give us more. Mm-hmm. Look, a message of good news coming towards you. That's this love offer coming towards you, Divine Feminine. Look at this. This karmic third party is out in the cold, hurt. Yeah, because all of the conjuring, all of these schemes that they were conjuring up, all of these um, false narratives, lies, rumors, betrayal to get divine masculine to come towards them. Well, to cause a separation, it's backfire because divine masculine is not coming towards them. I feel like divine masculine's been in hermit mode, isolated, because you're the only one for them. Look at that. Leo energy on the board. You could be a Leo. Your person could be a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. Yeah. So this person, I feel like this divine masculine, when I'm looking at this picture, I'm seeing somebody that could have possibly been a player in the past, right? But they're not that way with you. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Unbridled joy and happiness. There's that spying energy again. Child, it's like they both got you under surveillance. They want to know what you doing, what you up to, Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. Especially this karmic third party, because they know this Divine Masculine's on their way back towards you for harmony. To be in harmony, back in harmony with you and rhythm with you is what I'm getting. Yeah. I feel like this, this separation was definitely the catalyst for something bigger, right? So a long-term commitment because the Four of Wands is definitely a long-term commitment. Four of Wands is definitely giving um, a celebration, a commitment celebration. It could be a marriage, could be an engagement. Yeah. And it's also the 1111, which is twin flame, union, one and one is two, partnership. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Aquarius energy on the board. Look at this. Past life connection. I told y'all. Six of cups. This person is nostalgic for you, right? They, they want to break this no contact. Yes, they do, right? 
This divine masculine is deep in love with you. We got the king of cups. They're turning their back on this karmic third party, right? They don't play about you. Look at this. Seven of wands. This divine masculine. Ooh, this karmic is really mad. This third party is this divine masculine does not play about divine feminine. Look, two of cups, a divine partnership. And then we got the Queen of Cups, that loving, nurturing energy that you have for Divine Masculine, right? And then look, here comes the Emperor, Aries energy on the board. Come through, spirit. Mm-hmm. This Divine Masculine knows what they want and they want you. They, don't, they do not want this karmic. They don't want this third party. And they told them who they love. This Divine Masculine confessed their love for you too. This karmic third party. By masculine, don't play about you. I'm seeing this divine union happening. You guys coming back into union. This foolish karmic. They really thought they could take your place with your person. There's only one. You, child. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. What else do we have, Spirit? Please give us more. Here's the bi masculine rushing in with communication towards you. Mm-hmm. This bi masculine doesn't want to be without you. Child, they can't wait. They can't wait another minute to come towards you. Look at this. They made the decision. <laughs> Three of cups in reverse. See? Third party. Happily ever after. Taking action to come towards you. A small love offer, because this divine masculine doesn't want you to think that they're love bombing you. You are their wish fulfillment. You are what they wish for. You're who they wish for. You're who they've manifested. The universe granted them their wish, right? Their wish was granted. And they brought you two into alignment, right? Now they realize there's something beneath the surface. This connection is much deeper than what it initially appeared. A lot of anxiety because I feel like they did have you in competition here. So I'm seeing here with the two of pentacles and the nine of swords, I'm seeing a lot of anxiety about the future of this connection. But then I'm seeing the two of pentacles, right? So the two of pentacles is definitely giving me some type of um, competition or third party situation. This divine masculine is going to take things slow with you because again, they don't want you to feel as though they're being fake, phony, or disingenuous. Did I say that right? <laughs> yeah. They feel like they want you to trust them. They want you to believe in this connection, right? So they're gonna move slowly. Not that they don't want to move fast, but they want you to see that they're very serious about this connection because you mad at them. There's the queen of swords. They want you to have a new perspective. Oh, king of swords. Child, y'all might be, hmm. You might even curse this divine masculine out when they come back towards you, right? Because I'm seeing Queen of Swords and King of Swords. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of passion with you guys though, right? Yeah, I'm seeing this tower moment. So it's like this Divine Masculine wants to fix things after this tower moment. So this karmic third party thought things were completely over because of this tower moment. They thought that everything was crumbling in this union with you guys, right? No. Mm -mm, not at all. Divine Masculine realizes you have everything they want and need, and they're trying to figure out a way back towards you. Child. What else we got, Spirit? Please give us more. Wheel of Fortune. Very good omen for this connection, right? This Divine Masculine realizes they were so close to having their wish fulfillment. Mm-hmm. But they definitely want to build a future with you. Yep. 
and they don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They just want clarity. They want to give you the clarity that you need to buy and feminine to trust them going forward and to bring you guys back into harmony because through you, you are the vessel here in this realm, here in this physical realm that holds the missing piece to their soul. You hold the key to their heart. You are that vessel, divine feminine, right? Mm-hmm. And here's the Ace of Wands, this divine masculine taking action to come towards you, right? Yeah. I feel like they could be a bit scared to approach you, but I'm picking up on the leap of faith, y'all. Mm-hmm. Child. Ooh, wee. What else we got here? Oh, let's pull a few more. Mm-hmm. The Divine Masculine has been in hermit mode. Yep. They are not thinking about that third party. They're worried about you, Divine Feminine. Whoa. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah, look at this. They're worried about you because they know you got options. You got choices, right? You're attracting a lot of attention. Mm-hmm. Find masculines in their head about this. And there's confirmation, truth, Libra energy on the board. Ciao. Chaos and conflict going on because this divine masculine is pulling back their energy. Mm. What else we got? There's the karmic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trying to manipulate this divine masculine. Yeah, because they want to take your place. And they thought they, they this third party literally thought they could take your place. Mm, 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 mm. Spinning their wheels. They could never. This third party could never. Mm-hmm. In complete denial, delusional, right? King of Pentacles. This divine masculine is very stable. And I'm picking up this divine masculine wants to spoil you. There it is. Temperance, coming back into alignment, coming back into balance with you. Yes. Sagittarius energy on the board. You could be a Sagittarius. You could also be a Sagittarius Scorpio cusp or a Capricorn Sagittarius cusp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, okay. Three more. What you got, Spirit? Oh, I'm seeing public celebration. Mm-hmm. Lover's card coming back into union and this divine masculine hoping that your heart is still open to them because this divine masculine has never detached from you. Contrary to any rumors, this divine masculine is still holding on to you tight, divine feminine, and they want to be in union with you. Gemini energy on the board. Y'all, this reading right here, mmm. This divine masculine found out that you are an angel here on this earth, right? An earth angel here in human form. Mm-hmm. And I almost feel like this, this karmic third party is intimidated by you, has been intimidated by you, right? But they thought that this was your chance to shine and take your spot. Chow, it all backfired. This divine masculine is in love with you. Gemini energy on the board. Okay. Yeah. So you could be a Gemini. Your person could be a Gemini. You could have Gemini in your chart. Look, Queen of Pentacles, nurturing energy. But I'm also seeing the privileged lady here. Mmm. This divine masculine definitely wants to love you different. Chow. Told you, still holding on tight to you, four of pentacles, wanting the ace of cups. There it is, a new loving beginning. They want a new beginning. This cup is running over. They want a new beginning with you, and they want to express their emotions to you. Divine Feminine, this reading right here, y'all, I'm leaving it here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.